From the Carly B. TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carly Booz. A man who was shot in his home Monday night has passed away. Coroner Leon Jones confirmed 70-year-old Peter Taylor Jr. died at the hospital from his injuries. Taylor had been shot at his home in the 2800 block of Century Place. That shooting remains under investigation. Macon Bibb County government offices and the court system will be closed today and tomorrow in observance of the new year. Ryland Environmental will begin providing solid waste services for the entire Macon Bibb County on Monday, January 3rd. Trash collection days will not change except for the southern part of the county that will be going back to Monday. Recycling and yard bulk waste collection will be alternating weeks. Place the old empty carts on the curb on your collection days for pickup. The visitation policy for Piedmont-Macon Hospital have changed. Effective immediately, only one visitor is allowed per patient during day visitation hours. Visitation hours remain 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Masks continue to be required inside of both health care facilities and no visitation is allowed for confirmed or suspected COVID-19 patients. More than a year after the vaccine was rolled out, new cases of COVID-19 in the U.S. have soared to their highest level on record at over 265,000 per day on average. New cases per day have more than doubled over the past two weeks. The CDC reported the number of Americans now in the hospital with COVID-19 is running around at 60,000 or about half the figure seen in January. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp said that the state will spend $100 million to boost hospital staffing and deploy 200 National Guard troops to help at coronavirus testing sites and hospitals. Georgia reported more than 13,000 positive COVID-19 tests Tuesday. Infections and hospitalizations have been centered in the Atlanta area and parts of North Georgia so far. The Georgia Department of Public Health and hospital officials urged people not to go to the emergency rooms just for COVID-19 tests. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.